Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the Word Spell Checker. This is a tool in Word that will help you spell words correctly. Let's take a look. So first of all, you need to set up the Spell Checker in your uh, in Word. So go into Options, find uh, the way to do it, and turn it on. If you see a red squiggly line under a word, it shows that it's not spelled correctly. So if we look here, I know this isn't red, but you see an uh, uh, line, store, bought, change, first. We see that there's a problem here. And the first thing that you should do is to stop and say, okay, what's the problem? So what you need to do is to right click on the word. And here, if you have an older version of uh, pre-2016 of Word, it will give you a list of options. Word 2016 gives you options, but it also gives you synonyms so that you can see whether or not you will help you choose the word that you know, the word that you need. So again, you right click, Word gives you suggestions, find the word you need, don't just pick the first word you know, click on that word and it will automatically change it in your document. So if we look here, sometimes Word doesn't recognize the word. It sees a bunch of letters and you'll get no spelling suggestions and tells you ignore. It might be a name. Um, maybe it's a special word that you use all the time and it's not in the dictionary so you can add it. But this is very frustrating, so what, do you sh what should you do? This is where you go to your Hebrew English dictionary or French English or whatever and look up the word you're looking for. And here, Morphix is helpful. The word was Kalkala. And then we can go down here and we see economy, economics. And that will help us find the word. Of course, we have to then type it in. If there's a red squiggly line, then it'll probably identify that maybe you copied it or typed it incorrectly, or you chose the wrong form of the word. And I know, if you look here, there's so many options, and it doesn't give you the option that you need. Don't press the panic button. Again, use the Hebrew to help you impression, type it in, check to see that there's no red squiggly line, and then you can move in. So now you're a word expert and how to use the spell checker in Word.